Hi people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Let's not pretend we don't know uh, we don't know why you're together. I mean, Nadine and I have been involved in this is part of our advocacy. Okay, the Tax Wiz PH uh, mobile app. Yes. Pag-usapan nga natin yan, ano ito? Because I know that this is an advocacy, partly mm -hmm. uh, for for us. Uh, talk about it. I guess it goes back dun sa paano kami nagkakilala and. Uh, Nadine is, uh, uh, has been doing a lot, but of course there were times that she has to deal with it. And uh, when there was an opportunity that we uh, got to talk and discuss some of her tax concerns, and uh, this tax mo tax with speech mobile app is like a dream a decade ago. When I joined BIR, I saw the, so much bureaucracy and corruption that the only way to deal with it is to automate it. And if the government will not do that, why not the private sector? And that's how the tax with speech uh, was conceptualized and uh, she knew about it so when I decided to finally okay let's develop it let's get people to work together and uh, she just said okay I'm game so it started with a problem and then uh, followed the mobile app so ang tanong ko how does the mobile app solve problems we don't want to deal with taxes we forget the deadline we don't know how to compute we don't want to queue. We don't know how to file. Does it make my life as a taxpayer easier? Yes, I guess that's why Nadine is so happy uh, being part that's of it. True. Just taking. I was about to say that I'm victim because <laughs> because of the schedules, dami ginagawa tito boy. So most of the time I forget na deadline na pala. I have to pay this. I have to pay that. And of course, with tax with PH, kasi it <clears throat> helps you keep track on the dates it, it also has a tax calculator so you can check how mm. much you really need to pay so in a way it's um paano ko ba sasabihin it it helps taxpayers kasi nga especially kagaya ko tito boy i don't know anything about taxes like ko sabi mo sa akin tax parang how how does that work i don't even know how to calculate it but in tax with ph kasi you can ask questions um, and then now the version 2.0, you can take photos of your receipts na, and then it will store it there. Because usually mm -hmm. when I you can take photos of your, of your receipts and then what happens? It captures the data. It prepares your uh, uh, PNL or financial report and your tax oh. return. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, Automated. so alam mo kung anong babayaran mo. Yes. yes. Okay, so started with a problem, and I wanted to contextualize this, Nadine, because tayo. Naka mindset tayo na maghahanap buhay lang ho kami. Yes. Uh, I'll do shows, I'll uh, you know, I'll, I'll take care of my videos mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to my rehearsals, but I don't deal with numbers. That's, exactly. that's what you're trying to say. And then one morning you wake up and you say, "Huh? Ang dami ko palang babayaran." Yeah. That's where you were. Actually, what happened to me was I had I had problems with my taxes kasi nga it wasn't being filed correctly. Oh, so the, that's even worse. See, yeah, exactly. That's even worse. So to avoid that, syempre, I had to... Go yeah, to the tax lang, Yeah, go to the tax <laughs> <laughs> Buti na lang si mm -hmm. ko si Mon. So, But she was very honest. Exactly what she didn't understand and uh, what went wrong. So it was very easy for me as well to help her. And that's a requirement. Yes. Huwag niyong bobulahin ang uh, kausap niyo tungkol sa buwis. Yes. Uh, because you will just compound the problem. Exactly. But with honesty... Mas madaling uh, sundan kung saan kayo pupunta. How accessible is this to the public now as we talk? Well, uh, it's in beta phase. It's free and uh, you just use the QR codes. The QR code is available in our website and social media. Nang tax with PH. Tax with Yeah, so PH. they just use the QR code and they get to use or experience the features of the app. The tax calculator, mm -hmm. the calendar, the, the tax alert that Nadine was saying, and uh, the, yeah, the chat. I think the most important uh, feature of it, other than the filing, is ask the tax quiz. Meaning you can really chat to me and I'll answer it, or the rest of our advisory group. That's interesting. Yeah. So it makes life easier for people to pay taxes. And you're not just busy with the app, you're also busy with, here's a book, yeah. <laughs> a new book. <laughs> This is Iwas uh, Wisit 2022 edition. 2022 edition. So what is new with the book? Well, aside from the, the fact that the first bestseller 
is in-endorse mo. Thank you very much. You're Sa welcome. Iwas Buisi 2022, lahat ng bagong tax. Train law, create law, amnesty, digital tax, tax on cryptocurrency, social media, digital taxation, uh, uh, all these issues, all these proposals, and all the new regulations. It's in the book, Q&A format. Mm. May tanong, may sagot. Okay. So you just have to browse mm. which are your questions. So, mas madaling makarelate. Rather than textbook na you have to read all the sections, wala, natulog ka na bago ka makarating dun sa end ng chapter. <laughs> so, ito, ang chapter niya is lahat ng new taxes. So, iwas buisit, meaning makaiwas ka sa jahe, sa penalty. Okay, the focus is on the new taxes. Uh, does it mean that I don't get to read the old about the old issues? Are they still there? O, i, mga bagong buis lamang It's ito? It's the updated one. So, updated. the good thing about this, you can forget about the rest of the editions or other textbooks that you have read, okay. authored by other experts, because this is complete, updated, including those which are ex we are expecting to be passed into law. Where can I steal this? It's available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening at the Okay, which is the first version? That one. This one. Yeah, and then and this, this one. is the latest one. Okay. Of course, still published by ABCB and Books, and it's available on uh, Lazada and Shopee. Great. So, uh, if you get a copy of this book, you don't. That's very interesting because I don't have to go back to the other books. Yeah, you can forget about. You can just go to the yeah. books and Q and A format. Uh, you get the information you want. And it's interactive because there are QR codes in the, in all the chapters, mm -hmm. wherein you get to access latest article or uh, a tax calculator or um, a, a spreadsheet, meaning it allows you to explore right. on the ideas or the questions to further expound on the explanation. Kumusta naman ang buhay, Nadine? How is life? All good, all good. Really yeah, busy, there. but busy is good. She's very happy. Yeah, yeah it's there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Career. Well, Tito Boy um, finished a movie like a couple of months ago, which is great with Derek Yam Laranas. Mm. So it's still available uh, on Viva Max. Yam is one of the best. Yeah, I love working with him. Uh, I've worked Super with him in the past yeah. on some commercials, but he's just really one of the best. Yeah. So it's called Greed. Why? Greed. Well, it's because of greed. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of greed. No, literally, it is because of greed. Mm -hmm. So. You know, um, the tagline of the movie is "Money is the root of all evil." Mm -hmm. So, that, the title says it all. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that is and true. And somehow, debatable it may be, but yeah, you know, yeah. it can be the root of uh, <laughs> many evils. Yeah. So it ruins relationships also, diba? Like even with families, so right. many times. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people who went through that. Who are you with in this movie? Jago, Loizaga, and... Another intense uh, young actor. Yeah, and Kuya Epi Kizon. Wow. Yeah. How, how do you classify the movie? Thriller. It's a thriller. Yeah. Uh -oh. But this will continue. I mean, you're doing movies. Definitely. Kasi Tito Boy, na miss ko din yung pag-arte. Mm -mm. And I think when I'm acting, it's different. It, it puts me in a different world. You know, with with music, I say it's it's fun. It's just to, those are two different things. Mm -hmm. No, I, talk talk more about it. Yeah. And how different is one from the other? I don't know how to describe it, Tito Boy. But when I go to the experience, yeah. When I'm performing, it's more of I guess telling my story. Cause it, my songs are mostly written by me, mm -hmm. so it's telling my story. But when I'm acting. It's putting myself in characters or putting myself in the shoes of another person or of another character. And I put myself in a different world. And it's, it's fun to, I don't know, it's, it's fun to, to be someone else for a couple of days. I like that. Yeah. You're right, it's fun to be someone else. But oh yeah, that's why we uh, role play. Yeah. I, mean, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, we role play in life. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we pretend. We, you, uh, there are certain moments when uh, it, it, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. No, I get it when you say music because even if it's halibawa, you're happy in, in your love life and then you, you, you sing a heartbreak song, mm -hmm. but it's still your take. Yeah. Diba? It's still your take on, on that song as opposed to you become a different I think person. it's more of I'm trying to find the, the best way to explain it. I mm -hmm. guess when I'm performing on stage, it's like I'm burying my soul. But when I'm on in front of the camera when I'm acting, I'm playing around, like I'm being creative with this character. Or you're even protected by another character, that's, as opposed yeah. to exposing that yeah, soul that's also true. on stage. 
ang 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 galing no ang ang lalim <laughs> ang, 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 <laughs> what's in the future i mean I, uh, movies more music yeah more movies and more music um, business also what kind of a business i'm helping my mom with her, some of her businesses so uh, i'm learning i can't really say that i'm a businesswoman because there's still a lot that i can yeah not I, yet still a lot that i have to learn pero you know nadine a lot has been said about your love affair Uh, your, your boyfriend, <laughs> uh, Shargao, etc. Mm -hmm. I know how happy you are. I mean, it's written all over your... Is your boyfriend comfortable with you being so public? He is. Um, well, he's getting used to it at least. I think he, he understands that it's something that he cannot escape. <laughs> mm -mm. You know, it, it's part of it, so... That, that's right. He's, he's okay with it. Okay, I mean, and this is a question from Tito Boy. Who is he? <laughs> I mean, what, what does Seen he do? Yeah, what does he do? I haven't had a chance. You know, you should bring it to Shagao. I want to meet him. Yeah. Hindi totoo. Kasi napapag-usapan, and then I would see your photos. Siyempre, you know, what comes to mind is, Nadine talaga, hindi pa ko iniimbita. Dito pa ipunta ka ng Shagao. When you go there, I'll introduce you. No, I will. But who is he? And what's the story? What can you share with me? Uh, si Chris kasi. He's a... His name is Chris. Chris, yeah. Is he French? He's half French, half Filipino. Yeah, so he's been living in Shargao for eight years now. Oh, okay. Because yeah. yung his dad uh, bought land there in Shargao in the 70s or 80s, just a long time ago. Okay. So, um, he, I don't know why he, well, I don't know why he ended up in Shargao, uh, like aside from the business, because they didn't start developing until. Two years ago, so so his <laughs> family years. has a land. has land and has land does he Canada. have a hotel or a resort? He has a I don't know what to call it villa. A villa, resort. Okay. Resort. All right. resort. resort, but it's mm. the kind of it's a kind of um spot na you rent the whole thing and the whole thing is mm. yours. You have okay. your own pool, you have your own access to the beach. There are four rooms. It's serviced also, so if you want to have dinner, it's like. Like promote. <laughs> no, 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 but that's okay. What is it called? It's like a private uh, resort. Yeah, yeah, it's called Meson Bukana. Uh, it's the house where the river and the sea meet, or the ocean meet. Bracket. Nadine, Chris, how did that story start? <laughs> how, how did you cross paths? We have common friends, because I have friends who have been living in Shargao for a while now. So in July of last year, uh, Three, three of us, two of my other friends, we ended up going to Shargao just for a vacation. Kasi nga medyo maluwag na nung time mm. na yun eh, so we were able to fly out. And then... Um, you, 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 did you stay in his hotel? No, no we okay. didn't stay there. Stayed in another place and... In another place. But then, one of my good friends kasi is working for him as uh, social media. So she, parang she asked him na, Oi, can we go to um, your spot? Because there's a beach there. Uh, secret beach where it's there's no one there most of the time and it's really peaceful. Yun yung kung saan magmi-meet yung ilog tsaka yung dagat. Dagat. So asked him if we could go but we ended up just swimming in his pool. So that's pretty much it. Sino unang nakakita kanino? I don't know. Marang sabay, I don't know kasi when no, we arrived. Lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when we arrived, he was he was there, parang he was cleaning up. Um, what was had, your first impression? He had no guest. My friends, because we were talking about him already, and you were, and they were saying that oh, he's actually really cute. And then when I saw him, I'm like, okay, fine, he's actually kind of cute. <laughs> How do you define wealth? I think uh, being wealthy is not just about the number of zeros. No, but what is your concept of wealth? Ako dito boy, it's just being contented. Like really? what, well, like what Mon said earlier, like you have uh, a roof over your head, um, you eat properly, your family is okay. How rich are you? I think I'm rich because I'm contented. Uh -oh. I count my blessings. Mm -mm. You know, mm -mm. so it's it's really just understanding that what you have now is just what it's is all that you need in life. Correct. So, because you will never have enough if you're not content. Exactly. Investments these days. What is your piece of advice to people uh, eavesdropping on this conversation? Investment is something that you really have to think through because uh, there's a cost, there are uh -huh. risks involved. And it's not because your friends or people you know made money on that investment that you can duplicate it. It's okay. not, it cannot be a copycat. If you want to invest in stock market, try to understand or study stock market. 
if you want to study in cryptocurrency, you have to prepare study. yourself how much you, you, you are willing to lose. I guess if you want to be wealthy or you want to earn more, you have to be ready to lose the money. What you're saying, Mon, is alamin mo. Are you adventurous in terms of investments? Oh, no, am I? <laughs> Parang hindi. No. Uh -oh. no. She asked me like 100 times before I she decided. <laughs> I have to ask someone because I'm and that's new. That's the right way to do it. Yeah, because I'm new at this game. So, she, she doesn't decide quickly. If you're somebody who would like to scum her, you'll get bored. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll get tired. You have a project. What is this? Um, the, the, the Cool Girl Project. Oh, what is yeah. it? So, Cool Girl Projects is um, an OPC. It's my creative agency. Originally, the plan was that if I do have, for example, now, diba content, sobrang uso yung content mm -hmm. and brands really ask you for content to post on social medias. So, it's for creatives by the creatives also. We're building it by a tito boy. But um, I have a couple of my friends on board already. Okay. I really want to grow it because um, I want to produce amazing content for brands. That's Especially for the brands really nice. that I work with. Ang galing. So, I, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, thank you. So, I say thank you to the both of you tonight. Thanks, and I wish you the Salamat. best. <laughs> Keep on uh, whizzing. <laughs> Keep on whizzing. And surfing. <laughs> and surfing, and moving, and singing, and acting, and uh, speaking, and moving forward. Just moving, just moving, just moving. At uh, maraming salamat. And let's Thanks, be grateful. Boy. Thank you, the, the gratitude thing should always be present in our lives. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below. And you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking.